This is Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, and today we're going to be doing a video on the installation of a 1950 motherboard. So we're going to start here with everything having already been removed. We'll grab our new board. Now what you'll want to do is if you uh, re-put back your uh, side point, you'll want to move that out of the way just for the time being, and this power cord. So what you're going to want to do is kind of get it lined up to the front of the case and then kind of get it matched up and it should get onto a set of guiding rails and then be able to be pushed forward and then you'll hear it kind of lock into place. And at this point it shouldn't be movable and everything is installed at least as far as that goes. So the first thing I usually do is I'll uh, reinstall all the risers and the side plane. So we'll take your side plane that you've already had disconnected You'll notice there's a little metal post that this lines up with. Just want to get that secured in and push down and then it should just push in and not really have any tension or anything when you're putting it on. Next I'll usually put back in the power to the back plane. So take that, plug it in. Obviously there's only one plug so that's a pretty straightforward installation. And we'll reinstall our RAID controller as well. And with that, you'll notice there's uh, two little metal posts that will correspond with the tray here. Put the tray on, push it forward until it locks into place, and then put the battery back into its little holder. Now next what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall the fans. What you'll want to do is have the blue posts up, and then you'll notice there's two little indents on the side of the fans that then correspond with these little black holders. Pop them into place, and then push in the fan power connectors. Again, I mean, they're very clearly directed, it's pretty hard to mess that up. Then lock them into place, and you should be all set as far as that goes. Now lastly, when you're doing this, you're going to want to install your risers, and then lastly, the components on the board. We'll get these lined up again. Again, you'll notice there's little metal posts that line up with these and they lock into place. Just line it up, push it down, you should be all set. Next, we're gonna get your memory. Now, it would have been a good idea to remember how you had it installed. Obviously, if you have a full set of banks, you don't need to worry about it. But if you did not recall, what you'll end up doing is normally installing in pairs. So you'll do, a, starting from the first white one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So with our set of four, install it. Just make sure they clip in on both ends. Now we're pretty much to the last step. You're going to be installing your processors. Lift up the blue posts, and then this little lever on the right hand side of each socket and this releases the cover. Now when you're doing this, you're going to want to be careful because as I said in the other video, these socket pins are very easy to bend and if you bend even one of them, that can potentially cause issues with the way the machine runs. So the easiest way to tell is you'll notice on the processor there's two indents on one end of the... on one side. What you're going to end up doing is looking for the indent on the socket itself. But you'll see this lines up that little black indent right there. Lower it in, and it should just sit into place, and then the lever should lower without any real issue. Um, if it feels like you're forcing it, I would not keep going, as you very well could be damaging the pins. Do the same with that one. And there we go. Now, I've already pre-cleaned these, however, if you haven't, the easiest way to do it is using isopropyl alcohol, just a tiny little bit on a rag or something, and it'll eat right through it, and you should be able to get a nice and clean surface. Put a little dot of thermal paste on the center, and then what we're going to do is lower on the heat sinks, and the heat sink pressure will be what will actually spread the thermal paste rather than spreading it yourself. And lastly, Install the second heat sink, then reinstall the shroud, which helps direct the fan flow. 
and then push back in your power supplies. You should be all set to go. Anyways, hope this helps, and that's it.